We're go. We're go. Okay. <clears throat> so organic chemistry, carbon-based molecules, usually two or more carbons, actually connected to each other. Okay? Two or more carbons connected to each other. Now, let's talk about some classes of organic compounds. And this is the, really the meat and potatoes of what you need for the SOL test. Okay? First is hydrocarbons. We've talked about hydrocarbons already. When did we talk about hydrocarbons? Combustion. Combustion. Most combustion reactions are hydrocarbon plus oxygen, oxygen yields, CO2. not brush, CO2 plus H2O. Okay? Most combustion reactions are hydrocarbon plus O2, etc. It doesn't have to be. We can burn glucose, which is not a hydrocarbon. It is organic. C6H12O6, but it's not technically a hydrocarbon because it's got the oxygen in there. Okay? When we talk about hydrocarbons in organic chemistry, we're talking about propane, butane, octane. We're talking about typically what we think of as fuels that we burn. Okay? Um, so octane, for example, is the is the technical name for gasoline, and it has eight carbons. That's how it gets its name. Okay. I think it's C eight H eighteen. I'm pretty sure it's octane. Now, um, when we talk about organic chemistry, we also call to mind some common pharmaceuticals. Okay, aspirin is an organic compound. Most vitamins are organic compounds. So when you think about vitamins, vitamin A, vitamin C, vitamin B12, um, all of these sorts of things, they are all organic compounds, okay? And they are essential for life. We don't need them in huge amounts, but they are essential for life. Insulin is another example. Um, any of the compounds that we make to mimic what the human body should make, and then we administer them as medicine, those are organic pharmaceuticals. So any hormone treatments, those are all carbon-based. Living things are carbon-based, <coughs> including us. And so a lot of what we put into our body um, is carbon-based, including pharmaceuticals. Now, polymers. Prefix poly means what? More than one. More than one, more specific, really means many. Yes? Really means many. Okay? When we make a polymer, we take small molecules and we link them together to make larger molecules. You guys studied polymers in overbase class quite extensively. Okay? You talk about, and she talks to you about the monomers that make up the polymers. For example, she would talk to you guys about taking lots of simple sugars putting them together to make starch, which is polysaccharide, okay? Monosaccharide plus monosaccharide plus monosaccharide, on and on and on, and then you end up with a polysaccharide. You take, and that's a repeating unit, multiple single units, okay? Those are monomers. Mono means one. Polymer means many. And when you talk about polymers in organic chemistry, many, very often, is thousands. It's not two, it's not three, it's not four. It's thousands, okay? These are huge molecules. They're huge. They're completely bigly, okay? They're, they're seriously. And these are, the, these are the compounds that make up living things, okay? And they're all made of these small subunits. So we've got big things like polysaccharides, which are made of tons and tons of monosaccharides, We've got things like proteins, which are made of repeating units of amino acids. Yes, amino acids are the building blocks of proteins. We are nothing except protein. You have the eye color that you do because of proteins. You have the hair color that you do because of proteins. Because of thousands of repeating units. And these things come together. All of them are organic, okay? All of them are organic. Now, we have some naturally occurring polymers, some of the ones I just mentioned, proteins, nucleic acids, DNA, RNA, these large molecules that make up living, thing, living things, lipids, 
carbohydrates, all of those, natural polymers. And we have some synthetic or man-made polymers. And these are super important because these, for some reason, are always on the SOL test. And we will see when we're doing our um, when we're doing our practice together shortly, maybe not today, but then definitely by Wednesday afternoon, you guys will see a couple questions on this about synthetic polymers. Like, they'll give you a list of polymers and they'll make you pluck out the ones that are natural. Or they'll make you pluck out the ones that are synthetic. Okay? Um, nylon, which is, most people think of nylon as pantyhose. Like tights. Um, what is Kevlar used for? It's bulletproof. It's Kevlar vests. These are bulletproof vests, typically. Um, we make some other protective gear with Kevlar, but it's, it's, it's pretty cool stuff. Um, Feels like a warm It's, well, I don't know about that. But um, add a couple to these for me, please. Uh, polyester is one. Any of you guys in the band? Mm -hmm. And cheerleaders understand polyester uniforms? They're very hot. Yeah. They're very hot. They're, it's not a natural fiber. It's a synthetic fiber. It's almost indestructible. Well, it is. That's why we make uniforms out of it because we can wear them and wash them and wear them and wash them and wear them and wash them. And you can have band uniforms that are 10 years old and they're still fine. Colors don't fade because Mother Nature did not make that. If you put a band uniform in a landfill, 50 years from now, the band uniform is still in the landfill, looking like it did when it went in there. Okay, so polyester, nylon, Kevlar. Um, Diamonds are forever, more like polyester is forever. There's another one, give me a second. It's on the SOL test often. Nylon, Kevlar, polyester. Uh, Teflon, write that down. That's a capital T, that's a brand name, Teflon. T-E-F-L-O-N, Teflon. Teflon is... Um, we actually take pots and pans and coat them in Teflon. So um, a lot of times if you guys have non-stick cookware at your house, like frying pans and things like that, they're probably Teflon covered. They're pretty cool. But they are uh, synthetic. They are man-made polymers. And then plastics are organic. Huge, huge. I don't even know. I don't even know how many atoms are in a, a molecule of plastic. I can't even begin to imagine. And there's so many different kinds of plastic, all of them with different chemical makeups. It's it's insane. Okay, but huge, absolutely huge molecules, carbon based. We actually manufacture plastic somewhat from fossil fuels. Don't ask me how, but we do. There we Some of the parts of diapers are made from fossil fuels. Mm. Come on, I have a little thing. Our nylon roofing material. Yeah, interesting. Oh, where I got this from? Some um, conference that I went to. Oh, AEP gave it to me. Isn't that nice? AEP, or excuse me, Coles also used to make steel. Source for plastic, medicine, dye, flavorings, cosmetics, nylon, synthetic rubber, and many other chemicals. Flavorings, fire flavorings. Flavorings. Love eating, love eating me a stegosaurus. That's interesting. You can pass that around if you want. Okay. Uh, I think that's it. Do we have any questions on this 
No? Let's do Chromebook. Yeah, we need a Chromebook for the box. Okay. 